This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you and today we're specifically going to talk about the nutritional qualities of the juices that are created in your juicer. So this video came about because a customer actually emailed me and said, Hey John, I already have an Omega 8004. Thinking about getting the Green Star Elite because I want a higher nutritional quality of the juice that I'm making. Because she saw a... Um, a study or some information from the Norwalk Juicer Company. And the Norwalk Juicer is a press style juicer. It's a hydraulic press juicer that's two stages. The first stage is basically grinding up the produce at high speed, 3,450 RPMs. The second step is you take that a pulp that's created, you put it through a hydraulic press, uh, very similar to the press here, and uh, squeeze out the juice. So what their documentation showed is that this centrifugal ejection juicer made the least amount of nutrition in the juice and then up from that uh, next highest was the uh, masticating style juicer such as the champion juicer and then the Norwalk was even higher juice quality than that so the question arises hey John where does the Green Star Elite and the Omega 8004 fall in that list of you know uh, highest nutrient quality so let me go ahead and explain so the data that I just uh, said was from actually the Norwalk company. This next set of data I've seen is actually from the Trivest company, the manufacturers of the Green Star Elite Juicer. That being said, it is from an outside third-party laboratory, but as always, whenever I see testing that's not independent, not from the manufacturer, I always take it with a grain of salt, but at least it gives us some kind of guidelines to think about. So the data from the Trivest company, the report basically said this, the centrifugal ejection juicer is lowest, then the champion juicer is the next highest, which is, of course, what the Norwalk people said. Then, of course, the Norwalk juicer is higher than both those two. But then, guess what? The Green Star Leaf juicer even had a higher nutrient quality than the Norwalk. And you're thinking, hey, John, how could that be, man? The Norwalk is the Cadillac of the juicers. It's $2,500. Because it's more money, it must be better, right? Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, how the Norwalk works is a two-stage process. Number one, it grinds 3,450 RPM. So, you know, that's actually fair, fairly fast. And uh, when you're pushing things in the grinder, if you don't use the pusher and you let the pusher off, it's going to splatter up on your ceiling because it's running so fast. So I could always tell somebody uh, that owns a Norwalk if I walk into their kitchen, I see stains on their ceiling because why else is somebody going to have stains on their ceiling unless they're possessed by zombies and they're projectile vomiting or something like that. <laughs> so anyways, so that runs at high speed, the 3450 RPMs. The next stage is actually a press style, and it basically is similar to this. This uses a hydraulic jack that's manual. The Norwalk uses a, a electric uh, pump with that pumps the hydraulic fluid in, so it actually goes up automatically. So that's how the Norwalk juicer works. The main concern I have over that is a high speed 3050 RPMs on stage number one. How the Green Star Elite Juicer works, it, it has a similar process where it actually grinds up the produce, but it does it at a much lower RPM, 110 RPMs. As a matter of fact, this uh, Green Star Elite Juicer here is a three-stage juicer. The Norwalk is actually a two-stage juicer, but technically it's three stages, and the Green Star Elite actually duplicates this. The uh, first stage on the Norwalk is pretty much a blade, it's kind of like this. It spins around 35, 50 RPMs, it grinds up the food. You then take that, you put it in a press bag, you put it in the press, it presses it out. So uh, that's how the green, that's how the Norwalk juicer works. How the Green Star Elite juicer works is that this guy, the produce is crushed and ground up between these two gears, and this has special teeth, special recessed pocket teeth that actually grinds up more effectively, in my opinion, than even the Norwalk. And then stage two is right here on the gears. It's actually a mixing stage, and this is what's happening. When you're using the Norwalk, because you're going to grind up your carrots and your apples, it's going to be in one big, you know, uh, cloth bag. It's kind of sitting there fermenting, if you will, for a few minutes. Uh, that's what the mixing stage duplicates on the Green Star Elite. And then the final stage on the Green Star Elite is this section of gear right here, which is the pressing stage. And that's trying to uh, simulate the hydraulic press of the Norwalk juicer. So uh, the Green Star Elite people claim that their machine produces a higher nutrient quality than even the Norwalk. And to me, looking at how this works, it just makes sense. That being said, the uh, overall yield may be a little bit more high on the Norwalk just because the press is going to be a lot more effective 
than the pressing stage on this machine. That being said, the Green Star Elite in general is uh, produces more yield on especially hard vegetables than other juicers. So uh, that hopefully that explains the difference between the Norwalk and the Green Star Elite. Next, you're thinking, hey John, what about the Omega 8004? You know, because I already have that one, or I'm considering buying that one. Where does that fall in the whole scope of things on the nutritional quality chart? Well, you know, I have seen some testing, once again, done by manufacturers comparing the single auger style machines to the centrifugal ejection style machines, and those are such as the Breville Juice Fountain, and uh, it shows that the slow auger machines produce higher quality uh, nutrition or more nutrition than the centrifugal ejection machine. So to do the chart again, combining all the information from the different manufacturers, um, it goes like this, centrifugal ejection, lowest quality juice. Next up, the masticating juicer, such as the champion juicer. Next up to me would be the single auger style juicer. Then after that would maybe be the Norwalk juicer. And then after that would be the Green Star Elite juicer. So that's the, from lowest to highest in nutritional quality. Now nutritional quality is only one aspect of a juicer and so you may want to consider the other factors of a juicer purchase. So what are some other factors? Number one, the price. So the price of the Norwalk is $2,500. The Green Star Elite is approximately one-fifth the price and uh, like an Omega 8004 is like one-tenth the price. So, uh, you know, that's a big difference. Now, do you get that much more nutrition for 10 times the price than the 8004? I bet my life on it that you absolutely don't. Not 10 times. Might be, you know, it's probably more, but not 10 times more. Another factor that is really important to me anyways, besides the initial investment of the price, is actually how easy is it to use and to clean and how long will it take me to juice? So the Norwalk juicer is a two-step process. You gotta grind everything, then you gotta put it in the bag, and then you gotta clean it all up, and it can take a long period of time. I like that the fact that the Omega 8004 and the Green Star Lead are basically one-step juicers. You just put the produce in, the juice comes out the bottom, the pulp comes out the front, and boom, you're done. Uh, also on these machines, you can also take the pulp and run it back through the machine, and it'll further squeeze out and get a higher extraction for you. So another factor you will want to consider before purchasing a juicer is how long does it take to clean. So the uh, Omega 8004 takes me under two minutes to clean, takes me about a minute and a half. The Green Star Elite probably takes me about under five minutes. There are a lot more pieces to clean on the Green Star Elite, and there's a few more nooks and crannies where pulp can you know, uh, get lodged into that you'll have to clean out. Uh, when you're done juicing. Another factor you may want to consider is the warranty. I'm proud to say that these machines on the table here, the Green Star Elite and the Omega 8004, has the longest warranties in the juicing industry. The Omega 8004, 8006 have a 15 year warranty and the Green Star Elite has a 12 year warranty. So those are really long warranties and that's your assurance that you'll be able to buy a juicer once and be able to juice for years and years to come. I believe a juicer is the best investment that you can make in your health because the juicers allow you to eat more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, especially the leafy greens, which are some of the most important foods that we should be including more of in our diets in this day and age. Another factor you may want to consider is that certain juicers juice items better than others. So say you have an apple orchard and you want to juice apple juice between the 8004, the Green Star Elite, and the Norwalk, what would you use? Well, I'd use the Norwalk. The Norwalk is a press style juicer and, you know, for hundreds of years they've been using apple presses to press out the cider, press out the apple juice. So that's going to work better. For example, the Norwalk will pretty much not juice wheatgrass effectively and if you want to juice a lot of wheatgrass, that's where the Omega 8004 juicer comes in. It's going to juice wheatgrass better than the Green Star Elite and also the Norwalk Press. What if you want to juice something like carrots? Well, something like carrots, the Norwalk, of course, is going to perform very well, and so will the Green Star Elite. The Omega 8004, not going to get quite as high of a yield on the carrots as the other two machines. What if you're doing like a standard green juice with like leafy greens, and carrots. Well then, of course, the Norwalk and the Green Star Elite are going to do fairly well and, you know, the Omega 8004 does the greens really well, but not the carrots so much. 
Say you want to just do a straight green leafy vegetable juice. What of the three are going to do the best? Well, in my opinion, the Omega 8004 is going to do the best. It's going to create the least amount of foam and a really good yield. Of course, the Green Star Elite will also juice the leafy greens fairly well, although it does create a fair bit of foam if juicing leafy greens straight. For that reason, I recommend juicing leafy greens and alternating leafy greens with a carrot or leafy greens and some celery, and that will help reduce the foam. Uh, in the Green Star Elite Juicer. Another point that I want to mention is that you know when you buy an Omega 8004 or Green Star Elite, that could always be used as stage number one of the Norwalk. Once again, stage number one of the Norwalk is a high-speed grinder that runs at 3,550 RPMs, and both these machines you can use as grinders with, with what is called the blank plate. Uh, then you could actually buy something like this. This is called the uh, Juicing Buddy, and this is a hydraulic press. A uh, similar capability to the Norwalk where it literally presses and squeezes out the uh, pulp or ground up uh, vegetable pulp, whether it's the stuff that comes out of the juicer or just whether you're grinding up the produce with the blank plate, you can put it in this machine and press out the rest of the juice. And in this way, in my opinion, using an 80 RPM grinder and a hydraulic press or using a 110 RPM grinder and the hydraulic press, you're going to get a much higher quality juice than the Norwalk that runs at 3,450 RPM overall. Plus, if you just bought these two, you're at one-fifth of the price of the Norwalk. So I think that'd be a much better investment than buying a Norwalk personally if you definitely want to save some money. So of the best combination, grinder and press, I personally believe that the best combination is, of course, the Green Star Elite with the press style machine. With these two machines, you're going to get, in my opinion, above Norwalk quality juice for, you know, much lower of a price. So I always tend to prefer to err on the side of caution and not send you guys extra stuff you're not going to need or not going to use. So if you want a juicer that creates the highest quality juice and you don't mind some extra cleanup and, you know, extra learning how to use the juicer properly, uh, then the Green Star Elite would be the best buy. You should buy this one first and juice in it and see if it, how it works for you. If it does great and you're happy with the results, then that's great. Keep it and continue to use it. If you want to just stretch a little bit more out of it, maybe get a higher yield and higher nutrition, what you could do is then use this machine as step number one, the grinder, and then get the pulp out and then buy the Juicing Buddy Press to squeeze out that juice to be assured that you're going to get the highest quality juice ever. So I hope that covers it for you guys to let you guys know about the highest quality juice and how to create those in your home with some of these appliances that allow you to do just that. Once again, you know, for every different person, there's a different need. They want to juice different things. And, you know, there's different juicers to do that. I've created over 300 videos on YouTube now explaining the different types of juicers and comparing many of the different styles side by side so that you can determine truly what is the best juicer for you. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll be more aware of my opinions on what juicer creates the highest quality juice and what I would do to get it. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.